I have a question to how committed I am to doing this video. This is how committed I am. <laughs> This sits in here. This connects to this via this. This connects to the main battery via this. This connects to this via this, which can then run that, and it will be mounted behind the back seat of the car. Are you following along? Did you get all that? Did you get all that? I'm gonna have Sadie sitting here. <laughs> Tell the people to subscribe. Tell the, tell the people to subscribe. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Get That Bread, guys. Today, we're gonna chuck a battery behind the back seat of the nav. This is the 120 amp system uh, from Kickass. Yeah, it's pretty much just like a plug and play. Um, if you read the instructions, it's really not too difficult to understand how it all hooks up and everything. Uh, I've never done anything like this, so um, I'll bring you guys along with me whilst I have a crack at getting it set up. This should be more than ample in terms of uh, power needed uh, for the sort of camping that I do, like a couple of nights max. Um, I've got the power box that will run things like if you camp lights, charge phones, charge batteries, that kind of thing, uh, run a fridge in the tray. 120 amps should be, yeah, more than enough for that. So this system itself shouldn't be too difficult to uh, get connected. It's literally chuck your battery in, connect your battery to your charger, you charge it to your ba main battery, and then uh, the kit came with a, uh, a disconnect as well. So if the battery is getting too low, it'll disconnect so it doesn't damage the battery. Yeah, I'm not. There's nothing groundbreaking. It's just, um, yeah, something to to power a few things just while we're we're out and about. So, so I'll do a step by step whilst we're going through it. So one, we'll do one thing at a time, and yeah, let's get in the garage. I think it was crack of a day. A bit windy, but sun is out. All right. So first things first. Need to take back seat out get a dog they said it'll be fun they said man so do you might actually take this opportunity to get a bit of a clean in here as well at the same time but let's get stuck into it
hear me out and let me know in the comments if you think this is a terrible idea, but I think I'm not going to drill any holes to hold this in place because that's the outside of the vehicle, so I don't want any water being able to get in, any holes or anything that I drill into it, so I'm thinking, because the battery's so heavy, that's going to sit there pretty snug, it can't go right, can't really go left. I might just put a strap over the top and tie it off around in there. And I think that'll do. Because then once the seat's on it, it'll have it nice nice and snug. It's not going to go anywhere. I think that's going to be a lot better than drilling holes in the back. So let's, let's do that. All right, so this, super heavy you guys down. Uh, you go back to the gym. Shaft in, got the strap around, actual thing. Uh, it is definitely not going anywhere, so happy with that. Um, so, Next step is, might start getting the wires ready and run them to the engine bay as well. Um, I won't talk it up to the actual battery just yet. So I'll start here and we'll go through that grommet. Same one I pop the UHF through and I'll feed it down under the carpet, pop it up there somewhere. Sounds all good in theory, so we'll just put it into practice and see what happens. Let's put you guys right there. Next day. All right, back in the shed. Ran out of sunlight yesterday and I thought I'd wait for some more sun today to get cracking back into it. And just so we could actually see what I was doing. Uh, it's still pretty dark in here, but. Um, this morning went to Repco and bought a fuse jumper. Um, so the ignition source cable will run to that. Um, and I bought a multimeter because I actually need to find which fuse I can use when the ignition's on. So uh, I'm gonna see if one of these is sitting behind the battery will do or not. Um, otherwise, yesterday I just finished running uh, the wire under the carpet uh, down the side and gonna have a shitload left over which is cool um, but I'll work on getting that all plugged in looking nice and neat I can exactly explain what I'm doing now um, it's sort of getting to a point where it's self-explanatory just plugging a few things in so connecting battery to the quick disconnect connecting that to the power box and yeah, I'm um, just making sure it's all connected. I'll, I'll do a quick run through once it's all together, but otherwise, cue the montage. So, that last part I filmed was like, I don't know, two hours ago. I've just been fucking around trying to find a spot for the ignition cable. I was looking in here for a fuse, but none of those work because they have constant power. I was looking in here for a fuse and I found some, but they're the wrong type of fuses, so I can't use that. And then, uh, 
going to have to use, oh, you can't even see in here, um, the bottom 10 amp in the fuse box. So, yeah, if you guys are looking for something to tap into for an ignition power source, it's in here. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your time. The charger is connected to the main battery, then the second battery is connected to the charger. It's auto selected that it's an AGM, which is awesome. Um, now the second battery is connected to the disconnect. The disconnect is connected to the load, which is the power that we want, which is this box. I guess I'm going to start the car and see what happens um, but as you can tell obviously you need to shorten a shitload of wires but progress progress over perfection and then later on come back and perfect um, mm, mm, mm. yeah let me try this a bit and I'll start up and see what happens yeah let's start the car and see if we can catch some fire bit rushed at the end there but hopefully you guys get the idea um, I'll do another video when I tidy all this up um, I do actually have to drive uh, the nav to work tomorrow so apologies for the terrible lighting but if you got any questions about what I did uh, chuck it in the comments make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribed 